Welcome to the land of unpopular opinions. Today, because obviously, as you can see by my appearance, <laughs> I don't feel like recording a video where I want to show my face. So instead, I thought I'd walk you through all the journals that I use, because that's always a video that I love watching when other people do it. So I hope you enjoy. First, I thought I would give you just a slight overview of all my journals. And now I will get into each specifically so I can tell you what I do with them. The recording of this will likely be a little bit awkward, so please bear in mind. <laughs> Anyway, this is the movie and TV show journal. I think you can already kind of see the favorites. But... Ooh. 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 Address. Oh, who cares, anyway. Yeah. This journal, basically, I started using... In October. And I saw the idea, I'm not sure on which channel, but I wanted the idea. Anyway, because I was using my bullet journal to track what I was watching, but I realized that I prefer having another journal for this. So, now I'm just scrolling through pointlessly, but I will show you the layout on... See, this is a Star Wars. Yeah, sure. This is a Star Wars <laughs> page. So basically what I do is always put the date when I watched it. Then I do the title and however however the hell I feel, as you can see there. But <clears throat> I always do rating, quote, summary, and thoughts. The length of the thoughts part depends on how many thoughts I have. Let's see if I can find where I have no thoughts. These are mostly Star Wars movies, so I obviously have a lot of thoughts, but... See, for example, this. <laughs> this was when I was watching The Clone Wars. I mean, re-watching. I had to add sticky notes, because I only put one page for thoughts, and... Clearly, I needed more room. But then, when I watched Emma, I think, because that movie was... This was The Hobbit 3, because I had a lot of thoughts. Then when I watched Emma, I had, like, one little part for thoughts, because I did not have any. I'm just scrolling through so you can see the movies I've watched, but yeah, that's the last. And I always do the star rating in silver. So basically that's all there is to the movie and TV show journal. I just track it with the same type of tracking. I always put the same. And the bookmark is here because I'm re-watching Friends. I'm almost halfway through season 10. So that's a tracker that I always keep here. That's it for the first journal. Now this one, these are, by the way, these are both notebooks that are like, don't even have a brand. I bought them in the store. They're not, they're very cheap, but their pages are so smooth that I adore them. This notebook, I'm using for favorites. I didn't mean to have this one, because I usually put my favorite spreads in my bullet journal, but... But the way, yeah, I mean, I might as well just open that up. But the way that I wanted to lay this out is if I'm watching something or reading something and I want to make a spread about it, but I don't want to make my bullet journal full of crap, <laughs> is by doing this. So, when I watched Clone Wars the movie, clearly I made... I stuck in some stuff and I did some quotes. This was a very fun to do. And then I also did a reading spread because I just appreciate reading. Clearly, this is a booktube channel. 
yeah, but this was very fun to do. I enjoyed the lettering. And yeah, this is obviously empty. And this will be probably the least used journal because I'll use it whenever I feel like it, not every day or something, but I really enjoyed making the Clone Wars spread. That was that was very fun. Now the big one. This is my bullet journal. <laughs> This is the Lois Charm 1917. I bought this like I think over a year ago. It's the hardcover and it is in gray, but I added a lot of stuff on it. I bought the pen loop thing. I stuck on this photo because I actually stuck this on because I had printed it out too big. I was supposed to use it for something else, but it really really fits, so I kind of like it. Then I added the thing that they give you with the loisture and got some random stuff in the back this is true absolutely true good advice <laughs> then we've got a Hermione we've got two moraines and we've got witchy stuff just memes <laughs> I really like my bullet journal actually and I've been using it for a while now I've been bullet journaling for over a year but I'm not gonna go through like a whole flip through of the bullet journal right now but see 2019 that was February yeah you can see you can definitely see the improvement <laughs> in all of my spreads so I used to have like five days per page and then this went on for a while but yeah I gave that up definitely but I used up a lot of the journal. I skipped a couple of months last year, but see, I used to do movies in this journal, which I don't anymore, and books and series and stuff, yeah. But I definitely don't do it like this anymore. I sort of fell into a habit. I skipped a couple of months last year. I'm just gonna quickly flip through so you can see the, diff the, the different things. See, I skipped April here. I skipped to June, then July I just gave up because I realized I didn't have anything to do. I actually really liked September, that was a very cool minimal spread I did. And then I started becoming a little more comfortable with what I was doing, but still mistakes. I really love the blue and the snowflake combination in my bullet journal. It just looks so good. As you can see, yeah. Reading got <laughs> good here. Yeah, here we go. That was when I painted my face for Halloween. That was incredible. I really love doing it. Here I started using the washi tape. And here we have the Halls of Fame movie book, TV show, and then that was 2020. And here I started using ooh, spending trackers and sleep trackers. I didn't use sleep trackers in 2019, but I really love the ones that I'm using here, although I hadn't perfected really how I was going to do it yet. So... Yeah, see, because the whole month this turned out a little sloppy. Here, see, here I did my favorite series, favorite movies, and then March. We're getting closer, and I'm getting better in my opinion because this is way more organized. And this is where I started doing the decent sleep trackers that I'm continuing. This is where the earthquake happened, the 22nd. So I slept like two and a half, three hours, and this is actually the first spread that I'm repeating. And I have the favorite book of the month, pages read, rating average. Then here I had <laughs> I had to gush about Winter Night, so that was here. Then, yes, I had a lot of whiteout for the readathons because I always change my mind. And here we have April. This was great. <laughs> this is where I started sticking in uh, memes. I just Google book memes and I, like, print them out. Yeah, this is quarantine reading, clearly. <laughs> I've been doing very well. Then, 
I love I love my sleep trackers. I actually use my bullet journal every day. I didn't used to, but now I do. And I love filling this in every day. It's so satisfying to see, like, at the end of the month. And you will see May. I really love the spreads I did for May. Then, but honestly, this was pretty, pretty too. And the fact that this had a pink cover, it just fits so well. <laughs> that was what I did for my 19th birthday. And here is a lot of white out. This isn't the prettiest spread, but who cares? <laughs> And I did like a token appreciation page, which I freaking love. It is beautiful. This quote always makes me cry. And I did like J.R.R. and his script. Oh god, I love this spread. It was so fun to do. Then we have May, which was the Friends spread. And I love it so much. I downloaded some Friends scenes or memes. I did the how you doing in lettering and I did the dots throughout the month, the color dots and that. I love this spread so much. See, I love this meme a lot. I mean, it's not really a meme, but yeah, I love that a lot. My trackers were kind of <laughs> weak, obviously, this month, but reading was good, which is cool. Yeah, but the colors and just, I loved I love this a lot. Then we have the spending tracker and the sleep tracker was really colorful here because of the different colors. I alternated them like the dots, which was very fun. And then, yeah, didn't read that many books in May, but that's a story for another time. <laughs> and then I did May the 4th, which was very fun to do. I loved, I love lettering. I just love practicing it and finding different ways to do it, and I stuck in the Skywalker family, family tree, we have Ahsoka, and the other favorites. And then this is June now. I did a way more minimal spread, not a lot of planning space, because school is over, but I do have my final exams, so I still kind of have to. I did a black and white for June because I sort of felt like it, and I had enough of drawing the... <laughs> T table things, so I did just random circles, downloaded some memes again. Yeah, Sleep Tracker is going to be black and silver this month, which is pretty cool. Yeah, here's a sneak peek at my TBR. I didn't want to record one because no one knows what I'm going to read this month. I'm very busy. And then we've had the favorite book of the month. So that's, I've only wasted like see, 130 pages so far. And I used the pocket in the back definitely a lot. So this was the pen test. I know the Loistrum kind of has thin pages, and it see obviously goes, but I couldn't care less. <laughs> it doesn't bleed, I mean, at least for me, and if it does, it's minimal, so I like using it. And it wasn't really cheap either, so I'm going to use it. Now, the next two I'm sort of going to be quick about, because it contains some private thoughts <laughs> that are not only for the internet, but not for anyone. So, this is The Severed Moon by Lee Bardugo. Obviously, I pre-ordered it immediately because, like, fantasy prompts from one of my favorite authors. Thank you. And <clears throat> I don't really like how you write in it because it's not very easy to write on. It's a little bit stiff. But I'm making it work. See, it's very random how I'm filling this out. I just open a random page, start writing, put in the date. This is supposed to be, like, a daily thing, but I don't do it daily. <laughs> I really don't. But I like the prompts, like the quotes. I always try to guess what book they're from, but it's definitely very pretty. Yeah. So I don't do this as often as I'm supposed to, so it's probably going to be more than 365 days for me. But I was very consistent in the beginning of 2020, but since then, this has sort of <laughs> not been happening as often. But I still love the idea. It's very cool. And I'm going to immediately do the next one. Because this is like my random thoughts journal, or brained up, however you want to call it. This is a random journal that I've had for like years. It's blank and it's kind of thin. But the pages are also very smooth and I bought it for journaling back then. So I decided to continue using it recently when I had some thoughts. And I like having a separate journal for this because I don't want to try and be tidy in this one. I just let the thoughts flow. I actually put these on like today and I really like how it turned out. 
I always have a pen tied to this. This is like a gel pen, a blue one. And I will quickly show you what it looks like because, I mean, you're not going to read it, but this is what it used to be, which is pretty cool. Like a book and riddles I used to write code. And this is what I added. It's not pretty, but I can paste over it. <laughs> and I, yeah, the old part I stuck some wash tape over because I didn't want, didn't really want it to be available. And I'll just cover the thoughts. Yeah, but this is new opening page, train of thought. And then we have a lot of random notes. I, and this is, it also goes a lot, but I mean, who cares? You only write thoughts. Blank pages, they're very smooth. This is just something very quick to go through but I really like the cover and what I did with the cover so that pretty much wraps up the journal video I thought I hope you sort of enjoyed it I hope it was fun to see all the different notebooks that I use because I have tons and tons of unused ones and fancy ones that I spent a lot of money on I'm not using those I'm just using cheap journals that I can find so We'll see, maybe one day I will start using the fancy ones, but I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was something that is not too weird <laughs> on my channel because I'm mostly talking about books, but everyone these days is just a journaler and a reader and a writer, and I happen to be all three, so I'm going to mix and match my content probably on this channel. Expect a writing update soon because I love watching those videos as well, so I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.